Okay, today we're going to practice moving your fingering up and down for chords. So an easy thing to do is try to, once you know where all the chords are, which is using that formula again, so we got from the C, you count for C major, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So you do that all across. Once you get that down, you want to get some mobility with the chords and memorization of when you say, okay, C major, you know it's here. You say a D major, you know it's here. You say G major, you know it's here. So you want to start to figure out some mobility and mem muscle memory. So an easy way to do that is we'll go in a C scale, but we're just instead of going from here, using all the notes here, which will make these minors, we're going to make them all, everything from C to D is going to be major. Okay, so from here, we're going to go moving up to now to the D major, E major, F major, G major, A major, and D major, and then back down. So I'll name the notes really quick, so you could write that down if you want. Everything's in the workbook. So for a C major, you got the C, E, and G. D major, you got the D, C sharp, and A. E major, E, G sharp, and B. F major is F, A, and C. Majors G, B, e, D, A majors A, C sharp, E, B majors B, D sharp, and F sharp. So for now, it's just easy to practice just going up and down with the chords. You want to get that smoothly. Once you get into the octave, then you could start to work down here. Okay, so this is good to help you memorize where the chords are. So these are, of course, using all the notes within the C major, C major scale, but you are going to change all the diminished and minor chords into major chords. So this teaches you what chords are within here. The next video I'm going to do, we're going to use all the chords with the black keys. So the C sharp major and all that stuff. But here's something really good to practice. Plus, it'll start to train your ear. When you press a chord, you'll kind of know what it sounds like and feels like. So when you start to look for certain things to mix up, you'll have it pretty much within your memory. Okay, thank you. Jamie.